Unknown Ghost is a regular, so thank you for being a regular. And they asked, what would you consider the hardest part of Linux for beginners? Assuming they're using a mint like distro with good Wayland support. Um, I'd say there's two friction points, right? So there's two big things that come to mind on my end for Linux that I think do hold it back. And the first one is very early in the journey, which is getting it installed. I think a lot of people have never actually reinstalled an operating system on their computer, let alone replace it with a different one. Um, and I think that the process can be a little bit um, overwhelming for someone who's not very tech literate. Uh, and I think that's valid. I mean, most people I know have never replaced an operating system on anything. So I could definitely see that. And also some Linux distros have certain compatibility things with certain pieces of hardware that I just can't expect a regular person to know and understand. But let's say someone gets it installed and everything's taken care of and they got through that first hurdle. I think the second hurdle, and I know you say beginners, and I, I take that as you're a beginner to Linux, but not a beginner to having a professional life. And I think a lot of people are actually dependent on some tools that they might not find on Linux or they might not be happy with the alternatives on Linux, particularly things like AutoCAD or the Adobe Suite or any other professional tools um, that even beginners might be dependent on. Now, that's not everybody. And again, a lot of people, um, this is resolved because they don't use professional tools and they can just buy a Linux computer that's pre-installed out of the box. So I think there's always a way for people to use Linux, but I do think those are probably the two hardest parts of Linux for not just beginners, but for a lot of people. I think even advanced Linux users uh, actually get a little bit worked up over some of the lack of professional tools accessible to them on Linux. And a lot of them still dual boot or have multiple machines, or they have to use something like Wine and emulate, or they're going to do GPU pass through or something, which I wouldn't expect a beginner to have to do. Um, so those are kind of my loose thoughts, but I think everybody's going to have something that's going to make any operating system a bit of a transition for them. And I don't think Linux is immune to that. I think anyone transitioning from Windows to Mac OS is going to find things that are tricky and vice versa. Um, and I think there's always going to be hurdles when you're moving to a whole new operating system. So. Hey there, thanks for watching this TechLore clip. I just wanted to say, if you enjoyed this content, we have many other clips on this channel that you can get subscribed to. Otherwise, you can check out our full channel at TechLore where we talk about digital rights, privacy, security, open source, Linux, and many other exciting topics to keep you safer online. We'll see you over there, and we hope you enjoyed this clip.